Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah 38. Then Shaphat Yahu, the son of Matan, and Gedal Yahu, the son of Pachkhur, and Yukal, the son of Shalem Yahu, and Pashkhur, the son of Malki Yahu, heard at the words that Yirmiyahu had spoken unto all the people, saying, Thus says Yahuwah, He that remains in this city shall die by the sword by the famine, and by the pestilence. But he that goes forth to the Kazdim shall live, for he shall have his life for a prey, and shall live. Thus says Yahuwah, This city shall surely be given into the hand of the king of Babel's army, which shall take it. Therefore the princes said unto the king, We beseech you, let eth this man be put to death, for thus he weakens eth the hands of the men of war that remain in this city, and eth the hands of all the people in speaking such words unto them. For this man seeks not the welfare of this people, but the hurt. Then Sidik Yahu the king said, Behold, he is in your hand, for the king is not he that can do anything against you. Then took they at Yirmiyahu and cast him into the dungeon of Melkiyahu, the son of Hamalech, that was in the court of the prison. And they let down at Yirmiyahu with cords, and in the dungeon there was no water but mire. So Yirmiyahu sunk in the mire. Now when Eved Melech, the Cushi, one of the eunuchs, which was in the king's house, heard that they had put Eth Yirmiyahu in the dungeon, the king then sitting in the gate of Binyamin, Eved Melech, went forth out of the king's house and spoke to the king, saying, My lord, the king, these men have done evil in Eth all that they have done to Yirmiyahu the prophet, Eth whom they have cast into the dungeon, and he is like to die for hunger in the place where he is. For there is no more bread in the city. Then the king commanded Eth Eved Melech the Cushi, saying, Take from hence thirty men with you, and take up Eth Yirmiyahu the prophet out of the dungeon before he die. So Eved Melech took Eth the men with him, and went into the house of the king under the treasury, and took thence out rather old cast clouts and old rotten rags, and let them down by cords into the dungeon to El Yeremiyahu. And Eved Melech the Cushi said unto El Yeremiyahu, Put now these old cast clouts and rotten rags under your armholes under the cords. And Yeremiyahu did so. So they drew up at Yeremiyahu with cords, and took him up out of the dungeon, and Yirmiyahu remained in the court of the prison. Then Sidichiahu the king, and took Eth Yirmiyahu, rather, then Sidichiahu the king sent, and took Eth Yirmiyahu the prophet unto him into the third entry, that is in the house of Yahweh. And the king said unto El Yirmiyahu, I will ask you a thing, hide nothing from me. Then Yirmiyahu said unto Sidik Yahu, If I declare it unto you, will you not surely put me to death? And if I give you counsel, will you not hearken unto me? So Sidik Yahu the king swore secretly unto El Yirmiyahu, saying, As Yahuwah lives, that made us at this soul, I will not put you to death, neither will I give you into the hand of these men that seek at your life. Then said Yirmiyahu unto Sidik Yahu, Thus says Yahuwah, the Elohim, Sevayot, the Elohai of Yashra'el, If you will assuredly go forth unto the king of Babel's princes, then your soul shall live, and this city shall not be burned with fire, and you shall live and your house. But... If you will not go forth to the king of Babel's princes, 
Then shall this city be given into the hand of the Kazdim, and they shall burn it with fire, and you shall not escape out of their hand. And Sidik Yahu the king said unto El Yeremiyahu, I am afraid of the Eth Yahudim that are fallen to the Kazdim, lest they deliver me into their hand, and they mock me. But Yeremiyahu said, They shall not deliver you. Obey, I beseech you, the voice of Yahuwah, which I speak unto you. So it shall be well unto you, and your soul shall live. But if you refuse to go forth, this is the word that Yahuwah has showed me. And behold, all the women that are left in the king of Yahudah's house shall be brought forth to the king of Babel's princes, and those women shall say, Your friends have set you on and have prevailed against you. Your feet are sunk in the mire, and they are turned away back. So they shall bring out eth all your women and eth your children to the Kazdim, and you shall not escape out of their land, rather hand, but shall be taken by the hand of the king of Babel, and you shall cause eth this city to be burned with fire. Then said Sidikhiahu unto El Yeremiahu, Let no man know of these words, and you shall not die. But if the princes hear that I have talked with you, and they come unto you, and say unto you, Declare unto us now what you have said unto the king, Hide it not from us, and we will not put you to death. Also what the king said unto you, then you shall say unto them, I presented my supplication before the king that he would not cause me to return to Yahunathan's house to die there. Then came all the princes unto El Yeremiahu and asked him, and he told them according to all these words that the king had commanded. So they left off speaking with him, for the matter was not perceived. So Yeremiyahu abode in the court of the prison until the day that Yerushalayim was taken, and he was there when Yerushalayim was taken.